Okay, so this is my Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig model running Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit with the latest kernel. I've just updated it. Uh, and I've been doing some testing on this because I had a question from Brian Smith. Uh, and he's put, I figured out a workaround for those of you who have an 8 gig board and want to run Raspbian OS 30, it's Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit, uh, because I want Chromium Media Edition for Netflix and there isn't a 64 bit version yet and have functional YouTube. So I did some tests and with this Pi on the older kernel, uh, I tried it with Chromium Media Edition and Netflix didn't play. Uh, so I then tried my 4 gig Raspberry Pi and it played fine. And now I've put the card back into my 8 gig Pi. If I go to Netflix, and this is a weird fix because, so it wasn't working. Uh, I have updated the kernel, but that wouldn't have made the difference in this case. So if I click on this video, hit play, you'll see that it, ah, oh, weird. So I, it was playing just now. So it's it's hit and miss with the 8 gig Pi, but I did have it just playing. Uh, and when after I put it in my 4 gig Pi and then put it back in the 8 gig, it's almost like there was something cached on there or something, it allowed it to play and it was playing fine. So back to Brian Smith's comment, he's right, it doesn't work on the 8 gig Pi. Um, and he suggested to install Firefox ESR. Just to show you that it runs on the 4 gig Pi, I'm going to shut down and I'm going to restart with the 4 gig Pi. Okay, so this is the 4 gig Pi, uh, and just to prove it, let's call up terminal and get NeoFetch. So you can see 4 gig there. Uh, everything else is the same, it's the same SD card, same cables, identical setup. The only thing I've done is changed Pis. So if I now start up Chromium Media Edition, this is the Vents Fix one that allows you to use Netflix uh, and also fixes the tearing. So if I go to Netflix and try that same Michael Jordan documentary, hit play, and it goes into it and it will start playing. So there is definitely an issue with the 4 gig, it's taking its time though, yeah, with the 4 gig and the 8 gig Pi. Um, there's definitely um, some weird thing about it. So let's just try YouTube as well, um, just to show that that's working all right. Let's see which one comes up. I need something with uh, screen capture two years ago. So you can see that's playing fine. If I go full screen, it does something weird. Don't know what that is. Oh, I did have that on the 8 gig Pi and I was wondering if it was going to be exactly the same. So let's close that down. Uh, because what I want to do is now try this Firefox ESR. And I installed this ages ago. I think... When I first installed it, it wasn't ready and it didn't work properly um, and the performance was bad. But uh, but let's try it again. Okay, so back in on the 8 gig Pi, again, everything else is exactly the same. Nothing has been changed. So uh, you can see 8 gig there. Let's go to Chromium Media Center. So is Netflix going to play now? This will be interesting. I've only just started it up, so it's a bit slower. And it's only running from an SD card, nothing fancy. It's going to play. That's weird. So if you, and I don't know how long it will play for. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll cut it out, but I'll, I'll let it play. And I'm going to watch a bit of this and uh, I'll let you know that it, that it did keep on playing. Yeah, so it kept on playing. Um, it, it didn't stop and it was working fine. But uh, I suspect that if I leave it in the 8 gig Pi and turn it off, turn it on again, do a few things, maybe it will stop working again. But that is weird. It does seem to momentarily fix it. Right, so let's try just try YouTube again because that was, I wasn't expecting that weird um, when it went full screen. Let's do that same one again. Oh, let's do this one actually. More recent, so it'll be my more modern capture card. Yeah, something weird, that. So that's a 720, 1080. Okay, so def definitely something weird there. Uh, let's try it without the Chromium Media Center fix. 
so maybe it's something to do with the new kernel. Uh, so this is the ordinary Chromium web browser, so not the Media Center one. <laughs> nice. Interesting, the scrubbing looks all right, Let. I wonder if it's better at different resolutions. I did have someone um I did have someone comment on uh, about me uh, did I have any trouble with YouTube since the kernel update oh yes I do then uh, so let's and this reminds me I need to do another Pi news Pi 4 news I think I've got three things to mention right so let's close that down and let's install this Firefox sudo apt install Firefox dash ESR The performance is good on this Firefox as well. It, uh, I think it's, I don't know if it's the same one as in Ubuntu, mate, but um, it's much more snappy and changes between full screen and, and out of full screen, and and it it does tend to work better. Although weirdly, in the uh, Ubuntu Mate video I did, the performance for uh, OpenGL was better on Chromium, so it kind of swings and roundabouts, isn't it? Okay, so that's installed. Uh, let's. Close that down and go to Internet and Firefox. So let's do YouTube first. And this one. Hey, get closer. So that's playing all right. Oh, still works. Obviously, it's an advert. Still works. Still works. Let's go straight to 1080. And full screen. Well, this is good. This is looking good. I don't think I pause it in the video. Yeah, that that playback seems alright though. For 1080. The end is near. Very good. Right. So, uh, and did I have H.264 if I preferences? No, it's add-ons, isn't it? Add-ons. Extensions. Yes, yeah, so I haven't even got any um, anything like H two six four if I or anything in there, so that is that's kind of just working straight off. Let's let that play a little bit more. Just to check. So let's try Netflix and see, because I, I didn't think it had the Widevine support, uh, unless it's, maybe it's the ESR version that's slightly different or something, right, let's have a look, accept that, sign in, let's let me sign in, alright, and it feels nice and snappy, oh, and it comes up with an error. And this is the latest version that I can get from that uh, from the pseudo apt update. So, uh, yeah, weird. So definitely the Netflix isn't working for me. Um, but I am getting definitely better YouTube performance. And, uh, and also found that weird. Uh, it was interesting to know that uh, it's not working properly on... The 8 gig Pi, but it works on the 4 gig Pi with the Chromium Media Edition. Okay, so a little bit of experimenting. Anyway, thanks very much for Brian Smith for the comment. Um, I don't know why the Firefox isn't working for me on Netflix. Uh, I did try this before, uh, and and I had exactly the same result where I would go to play the program and it and it wouldn't wouldn't play it. So if I go, let's just try one more time. different error to the to the other one I suppose I suppose I ought to try it on the 4 gig pi uh, just as a last thing let's try that okay so last check on the 4 gig pi now just to show that it's that there you go so let's try uh, Firefox ESR go to Netflix Hit play. And it doesn't play. So weird. 
Uh, and if I go back to Chromium Media Edition and hit resume, and it works. Very strange. Okay, so I hope this helps anyway. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.